Hi, this is the AQA practice paper set three for GCSE mathematics. This is the higher tier and it's paper one, which is the non-calculator. And I plan to go over the answers to each of the questions on this paper. Okay, question number one. What is the area in centimetres squared of a semicircle of radius six centimetres? So we've got a semicircle here and it has a radius of six centimeters so i know to work out the area of a circle is going to be pi r squared and because it's a semicircle i want to do half of that so i only want half of a circle so we've got half pi times the radius squared the radius is six so the radius squared is going to be 36 so i've got a half times pi times 36 and a half of 36 is 18 so this is going to be 18 pi, which is that one there. Question number two, expand 3x squared times 2x take away 5. Um, so if we expand this out, we've got 3x squared times 2x, which is 6x cubed. And then we've got 3x squared times 5, which is 15x squared, and it's a subtract. So it's going to be take away 15x squared. So that's going to be that one there. Question three, circle the solution of 2x plus eight is greater than four. So if I subtract, but if I start by subtracting eight from both sides, and that's gonna tell me that 2x is greater than negative four, and then I can divide by two, and that tells me that x is greater than negative two, which is going to be um, this answer here. Okay, question number three, sorry, question number four even, um, circle the calculation that increases 50 by 200%. So if I want to increase 50 by 200%, it starts at 100% and increasing by 200% means it's gone up to 300%. So in order to find 300% of something, I need to times it by three. So we've got 50 times three. Okay, question number five, solve x over three take away nine is equal to 12. So I'm gonna write it out over here, x over three take away nine is equal to 12. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add 9 to both sides. Okay, so that means that x over 3 is going to be equal to 12 plus 9, which is 21. I'm then going to undo the divide by 3, so I'm going to times both sides by 3, and that means that x is equal to 321, which is 63. Okay, question number 6. The air pressure in a tyre measures 7.2 bar. Air is leaking out at the rate of 0.2 bar, bar per day. Assume that the air continues to leak at the same rate. After how many days will the pressure measure 4.8 bar? So um, it's gone from 7.2 down to 4.8 at a rate of 0.2 per day. So let's find how much it's actually gone down by. So that's 7.2 take away 4.8, and that's going to be equal to 2.4. Um, and that's how much it's gone down by altogether, and it goes down by 0 0.2 bar per day. So I wanna know how many um, 0 0.2 goes into 2.4, so I'm doing 2.4 divided by 0 0.2, and that's going to be the same as 24 divided by 2, which is going to be equal to 12. So that's going to be 12 um, days. Okay, part B. In fact, the rate that the air leaks out increases each day. How did this affect your answer to part A? So rather than it being 0 0.2 bar per day, this number is going to increase 
so that means that we are going to take less time to get to 4.8 bar so it's going to decrease the time taken or decrease the number of days okay and there we go um, so all of it yes question 7 ABDE is a parallelogram we're being told that AB is equal to AC so that side is equal to that side there and we need to show that X is equal to 22 degrees okay because this is a show that question we're looking for this to be our final answer so we can't use this in any of our calculations okay so we have a um, parallelogram here um, and the opposite angles in a parallelogram are going to be equal to each other so that tells me that ABC is going to be equal to 65 degrees so this here is going to be 65 degrees okay now we also know that ABC is a is an isosceles triangle so that tells me that ACB is also going to be equal to 65 degrees so that there is going to be 65 degrees and that tells me that BAC is going to be 180 take away 65 take away 65 um, which gives me 50 degrees okay that makes 130 altogether 180 take away 130 is 50 degrees so that there we now know is 50 degrees okay we also know that EAD um, is a triangle and um, they're going to sum to 180 degrees so the angle EAD is going to be equal to 180 take away 65 take away 72 which is going to give me 137 43 degrees okay so this here is 43 degrees now because this is a parallelogram then this angle and this angle are co-interior angles um, and they must sum to 180 degrees so all of this and this must make 180 degrees altogether so that means that um, so um, 65 plus 50 plus X plus 43 has got to be equal to 180 degrees okay so that's all of this angle which is 50 plus x plus 43 and this angle which is 65 have to sum to 180 degrees okay so that's 115 and 43 so 158 so x plus 158 is equal to 180 degrees which means that x must be equal to 180 take away 158 which is 22 degrees